Ken Whiting with Paddle TV, and this week we are reviewing the Airvolution Drop Stitch Inflatable Kayak by Advanced Elements. Now, inflatable kayaks have been exploding in popularity because they remove two of the biggest barriers to getting into kayaking, transporting your kayak and storing your kayak. But it can come at the cost of performance. And so in this video, I'm gonna try the Airvolution for the first time ever, and you're gonna follow me, and we're gonna see, is this thing worth it? Before we do that though, please subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already, and stay tuned because we got lots more gear reviews, tips, and paddling adventures coming your way. Advanced Elements Airvolution Drop Stitch Inflatable Kayak has a retail price of 1300 US dollars. It's 13 feet long, 33 inches wide. It weighs 39 pounds, or 18 kilograms, and it has a capacity of 300 pounds, or 136 kilograms. It's primarily designed for recreational paddling in sheltered water. That means any water that isn't subject to strong wind or waves. The Airvolution is a drop stitch design kayak that's made from a heavy duty PVC outer skin. It has a high back seat, deck bungees for stowing gear on the bow and the stern, heavy duty soft grab handles, a removable tracking fin, and the hull is designed with a V entry that transitions to flat. It also comes with a pump. In fact, it comes with two pumps, a battery operated low pressure pump for quick inflation and a hand pump to top it off. Well, I'm ready to go. That took a fair amount of pumping. I can appreciate why the power pump was in the package and I should have brought batteries for it. Uh, first impression now that it's inflated and ready to go is it's nice and tight. This is a, it's a beautiful kayak. This is a, a high quality seeming kayak and I'm really looking forward to getting on the water and see how it paddles. One thing I, uh, I learned right off the top is the, uh, the removable skeg um, is removable because it's not the strongest skeg. I put the, the kayak down when it was still on. I just forgot about that it was in and I turned it over and put it down and it snapped. And so um, that's a lesson to be learned. Um, you know, I think it probably shouldn't have snapped uh, with, you know, it's not like I sat in it or anything like that, but um, you know, it is a thin piece of plastic sitting down. The, whole, the weight of the boat is supported by it. So, so it goes, I won't be able to to test the kayak with the, the uh, removable fin, but that's okay, because I think this kayak's gonna perform fantastic without it. We'll soon find out. So I've had a good chance to really give this boat a paddle, give this boat a test. And you know what? It, it paddles very much like a hard shell kayak. They say it does, and it's true. You know, the rigid, rigid design of this, this drop stitch design doesn't really feel like an inflatable. It, uh, it, it feels like a slightly loose hard shell kayak I really like it you know I really like it 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 paddles fast it's smooth and fast through the water it turns on a dime now of course I'm using it without the fin it's you know it's moving around it's not tracking super well but uh, that's okay with the fin in I'm sure it would track beautifully comfort wise it definitely is a step down from a hard shell kayak in the same class in that $1,300 class this it, it's the nature of an inflatable kayak it can't have the same type of uh, comfort features that a that a hard shell kayak 
can have. You know, the seat, the high back seat is nice. It's a nice high back seat, provides plenty of support. But um, in the same class in a hard shell kayak, you tend to have uh, very comfortable standalone seats. In many cases, they have high and low sitting positions, which is really nice to have. Uh, so the seat is what it is. Um, and the comfort of the cockpit is what it is as well. I, you know, I'm definitely on the, the long end of this, this kayak. At six foot two, I'm pretty tall for this kayak. Uh, verging on too tall. I've had to push the foot peg system or the, the uh, foot brace system deep in there. So I'm, my feet are pretty much right on the, co the combing, the end of the cockpit. Uh, it's fine, it's totally fine, but definitely not as comfortable as having a nice set of foot uh, braces that you would have on in a hard shell. Uh, it also, the side of the boat where the, the clips attach, or the seat clips attached to the boat, I find my legs are resting against there, and it's not a big deal, but it's a, you know, a slight pressure point, and it just, you know, a, another example of how it, can't compete on a comfort level with a, a hard shell kayak. But that's the price you pay for having portability uh, and stowability. The fact that this thing fits in a backpack, if that's important to you, then that's a, really, I think, a very small price to pay. Uh, durability, you know, time will tell, but uh, I, it feels so well made. It feels rock solid. It feels like I can, without abusing it, I can expect it to, to weather some regular use. As for stability, it is definitely a stable boat. Like it's, there's no doubt about it. I don't feel like I'm ever gonna tip. It, it wobbles, you know, a little bit back and forth. It's got a bit of a, a V hull on the, on the bow and stern. And so that's to be expected. That helps it track and, and push th through the water better. But um, even in the, with the wobbles, it's a, super stable. As soon as you get to one side or the other, it's like it locks into place. So the feeling like I'm gonna, it doesn't have any type of feeling like I'm gonna flip in this thing. So I, I would be comfortable putting my mom in this, in this kayak and, and sending her for a paddle. There's no doubt about that. I'm gonna keep paddling it for a bit longer and see, um, try to get a better feel for it and, uh, and I'll come back to you guys with, with some more thoughts. Well, after an hour of paddling this baby, this is what I can tell you. Um, I like it. It's a nice boat. It's a really nice boat. Uh, for a 13 foot recreational touring kayak, it acts as you'd expect one to, as you'd expect a hard shell kayak to, to perform. And so um, for an inflatable kayak to do that is, that's a victory. You know, it doesn't feel like a, at all like a sloppy inflatable kayak that some people uh, think of when they think inflatables. It's rigid, it performed beautifully, but all in all, yeah, I give it a, a thumbs up. Uh, aside from the unfortunate skeg breakage at the beginning that uh, I didn't, you know, which didn't allow me to test this kayak with the skeg. Um, if you want more information about this boat though, you can see the link in the description box uh, down below. And otherwise, if you haven't already, please subscribe to Paddle TV. Leave a comment if you've tried this boat and you have some feedback that you can share with everybody. Leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And stay tuned because we got lots more gear reviews, lots more tips, paddling adventures, the works here on Paddle TV. Hey everyone, pardon the interruption, but I wanted to give you a quick update about the fin situation. I just heard back from Advanced Elements and they said, absolutely, it's covered by warranty. They're sending a new fin out right away. That's awesome. Uh, it's not a common problem that they have. And so um, 